Hi, this is Lakshmikant Tiwari. Previously, we have seen switch and the checkbox, but now we are going to see radio buttons. So here I have created a sample application for you. You can see there are three radio buttons. And if I click on radio button one, then you see radio button one clicked and there is color change in this circle. Okay. And you can see this color is not following a default accent color. So in this tutorial, we are going to create these three radio buttons and then we will customize these colors. Okay. So that it cannot follow default colors as Android Studio provides. Right. So I have created application named as radio button 2 and uh, first of all that we go uh, first of all that we are going to create activity main.xml uh, I mean we are going to create this layout inside this activity main.xml file so we do not need this text view so let's just remove this text view and uh, this constraint layout we want let's say the relative layout previously we have also practiced about the constraint layout so you can go also with the constraint layout as you want let's remove this if we do not want so one more thing I would like to tell you here. So these buttons are uh, individual radio buttons. But if you want to put these three buttons together, then you need to put these three button inside a group. So that is known as a radio group. So first I would like to create here a radio group. Okay. So the radio group and layout width as a wrap content and height is also a wrap content and then the id and this id is going to be let's say the radio you can say the radio group oops radio group okay and uh, the margin from the top okay let's say the margin from the both side i want to put at the 16 dp okay great now let's say uh, let's put uh, the radio button inside this radio group so we want to put here app compact okay so app compact radio buttons and width of these radio buttons to the wrap content and wrap content and id for the first radio button is going to be radio button one okay so you can say radio button one and apart from this id i would like to put a text here and you can say that text to the radio button one and then let's extract this string resource okay radio button one and uh, after that i would like to put uh, a margin from the left okay so the margin from left it's a 16 dp as a by default margin okay however i had already uh, by default layout margin 16 dp but I would like to put extra 16 dp margin from its radio group. Okay. Now one button has one radio button has been created. Now let's just copy and paste it. Okay. Two times. So we need to change here radio button ID to the two and this radio button to the three. And we would like to also change this text. Okay. So that text would be the radio button two and then we want option in the enter extract this string resource and then we want here radio button okay radio button 3 mm, yes we need to remove this string then option and the enter and you can say here radio underscore button underscore 3 perfect radio button 1 2 and the 3 now we have here everything what we wanted uh, now let's run this application and see into our emulator okay while it is building so we would be also changing this default accent color so currently it will be following you know the default accent color so this is uh, uh, this accent color okay now i would like to change this default accent color so for that one we need to uh, add a custom style here so let's choose first color radio okay the default color radio but first uh, 
let's see here okay see here so this is following this default accent color but I want to change this default accent color so for that let's choose something else let's choose the blue so let's choose this light blue and the copy it and create here new color palette so let's say the color radio button checked okay and has and paste it here so this color and now let's open this style so inside this style I'm gonna create a new style name that's the radio button theme okay close this one and I'm gonna create here the item inside new item is of course the accent color okay accent color and that accent color is gonna be radio button checked color and I would like to remove this Android otherwise it would not work okay and then come back to the activity main.xml and inside of uh, every radio buttons we need to add a style okay theme so the Android theme and then at the rate we want a style underscore let's copy this name so that there would not be any chance of uh, spelling mismatch okay and then we need to copy it and paste this theme to each of these radio buttons and run it now you will see into our new application after installation the checked color would be followed that would be of course the different checked color see here now this is a blue color light blue color earlier it was a default accent color okay great so now uh, while we are checking and the unchecking each of these radio buttons so nothing is uh, being displayed here that's mean we have not done any java coding yet so let's come back to the main activity.java file so inside this main activity.java file we need to create here our uh, you know the radio group so for that what we need to do here let's create a radio group and then you can say the radio group and now we want to get the reference for each uh, for the radio group so that's the very simple radio group is equal to the radio group and then find we by id r dot id and then sorry r radio group okay so as you see here um, these buttons are inside this radio group so we do not need to get the reference for our e, uh, each of these buttons okay so we only need to get the reference of this radio group and then we can check only by seeing the id so id 0 1 and the 2 id okay so the radio group and then we want the radio group then set on checked change listener and then new on checked change listener okay so this is the radio group and inside the you see here the int i int i shows that i mean uh, which button is uh, i mean which radio which radio button has changed the state so we want here a switch statement switch i okay and then it will select the cases according to the i so the first one is r dot id and then you can say the radio button one and then we can um, so a toast button here and a toast here so you can say here radio button one okay and then we can break it then another case we want another case that would be r dot id dot you know the radio button two and then we can copy these two and then finally we can paste it here and similarly case but here we want to make it radio button two and then case r dot id and if it is radio button three okay and then again we can copy and paste it here and we need to make it as a radio button three right so 
you see here what is happening so let it install I'll explain you what is happening here so inside a radio group it is referencing each of these radio buttons so if it is 0 that's the radio button 1 if it is 1 that's the radio button 2 and if it is 2 that is radio button 3 why because the array indexing starts from 0th location and let's see inside the emulator radio button 1 radio button 2 and the radio button 3 right perfect so I think I must stop this video tutorial here so I have covered almost uh, you know everything for the beginners for getting started with the radio buttons now you can do whatever you want with these radio buttons when you um, check and then uncheck these radio buttons one two three or any of these so one more thing you can subscribe this channel and uh, you can like this video and you can share with your friends so in the next video tutorial I'll be covering you know the more material designing tutorials so thank you so much for watching this one and stay tuned for next one bye bye have a nice day